Hello everyone. Today we'll continue with third type control structure selection, multiple alternatives. Before that, control structure selection, multiple alternative. What is multiple alternative? Selection structures containing several alternatives are referred to as a multiple alternative selection structures or extended selection structures. If you see multiple selection control structure, check many conditions to choose between many actions. Condition will be checked one by one. When a condition is true, perform the action or execute the statement and stops checking the rest. For pseudocode, this is a general format to write um, multiple alternative pseudocode. So I'll start with if condition 1 followed by the statement 1. If the condition 1 false, else if condition 2 followed by statement 2. If condition 2 false, else if condition 3 followed by statement 3. Else statement 4 and if. Okay, for the flow chart, this is structured uh, for the multiple alternative or multiple selection flow chart. So condition 1, computer check if true means first statement 1. Statement 1 will be executed. If not check second condition. If second condition true, computer will execute statement 2. If false means check condition 3. If true means computer execute statement 3. If false, computer execute statement 4. It means multiple selection control structure. Check many condition. to choose between many actions okay condition will be checked one by one okay when condition is true remember when condition is true perform the action so computer will execute the first statement and stop checking other condition remember that We discussed our uh, first example. Mr. Rishi Kaysen teaches computer science in ABS school. He wants a program that displays a letter grade as he enters the marks. The valid letter grade and their corresponding message are shown below. So for grade A, mark is greater than or equal to 80 for B mark is greater than or equal to 60 for C mark is greater than or equal to 50 fail mark is less than 50 for first step you must do the problem analysis still remember IPO okay based on the problem statement input marks why marks? If you see, it's clear state. He handles the marks. Okay. A program that displays a letter grade as he enters the mark. So for the input marks, okay, for process, determine. Determine whether the grade is A or B or C or fail based on the marks okay next for output a or b okay make sure or you must write compulsory okay a or b or c or fail because we have four output we only print out only one output so don't forget uh, to write the to put the double quote okay 
second for the sudo code okay, as usual you have to start with start stop or you can use another pair begin and end okay start read marks just now the input is marks so you just write read marks make sure you use the suitable verb read marks if mark greater or equal to 80 so this is the first condition print a so this is the first statement else if mark greater or equal to 60 it is a second condition print b second statement else if mark greater or equal to 50 print c okay this one uh, third condition and third statement else print fail and if to terminate the selection and don't forget to write stop okay, this one how you want to write the pseudo code number three to uh, draw the flow chart you see the first line here okay, first line we have start still remember start we use terminal symbol but, uh, use terminal symbol okay, it's a capsule shape so you just write start inside the capsule shape second for the input Still remember, input parallelogram shape. So read marks. You just copy the uh, input, then write inside the parallelogram as usual. Okay, next we have condition. Okay, here you have to careful. We have few condition here. So if mark greater or equal to 80, so you must use the decision symbol, the diamond shape. So you just copy the condition and write here mark greater or equal to 80 if true means computer will print first statement okay if false computer will check second condition here as if mark or greater equal to 60 so if this one is second condition okay just copy this condition draw the decision symbol or diamond shape mark greater or equal to 60 if true means computer will print b false okay else if computer will check the third condition mark greater or equal to 50 this one is third condition so as usual use the decision symbol or diamond shape just copy the condition and write inside the diamond shape mark greater or equal to 50 if true computer will print the third statement so this one is third statement else you write you no need to write the condition you just write the statement print fail the output statement so this one print fail this one is output statement so you must uh, draw the parallelogram shape okay and if stop okay so make sure all the arrow must touch the symbol okay don't forget to write true false true false okay must state the true false okay then all the arrow must connect it okay stop okay, when the input are entered condition will be checked one by one when a condition is true perform the action what i mean here the statement will be executed and stop checking other condition remember that Next, we see the second uh, example. The products list below are sold in a convenience store. Okay, B, uh, product code price. So A, uh, B, and C is the price for the product. 
When a customer makes an order for a product, he or she is required to provide its product code as well as the quantity. Write an algorithm which accepts the code and quantity of one product to be purchased. Then, output the amount to be paid for that purchase. Okay, first you have to do the IPO analysis. Based on this uh, problem statement, the input, code and quantity. It's clear state for this question. Provide its product code as well quantity. Okay, so when a customer makes an order for a product, he or she is required to provide its product code as well as quantity. So this is the input. Okay, for process, determine, determine the code and calculate the amount to be paid based on code and quantity. So I repeat again, determine the code. We have to see the code. Determine the code and calculate the amount to be paid based on code and quantity. So the output amount. If you see for this question, at the end, uh, the output the amount to be paid for the purchase. So the output amount. We start with uh, start and stop. Second, we have uh, input. We have to write the input. So for this question, the input code and quantity. Just uh, copy and write here input code quantity. So, for this uh, problem statement, we have three conditions to check. So, the first one if code equal to A. So, this one uh, if code equal to A is the first condition amount equal to quantity multiple with 32 ringgit 10 cent. This is uh, the first statement process statement. Else, if code, see code equal to B, uh, this one is second condition. Amount equal to quantity, multiple with 75 ringgit 30 cent. So, this is uh, a second statement process. Else, if code equal to C, amount equal to quantity, multiple 24 ringgit 60 cent. Else, print invalid code. If if uh, it's a not uh, valid code, so else print invalid code. So and E to terminate the selection. Then print amount. Stop. If you see the flow chart. As usual, start use uh, terminal symbol, capsule shape. Okay, write the start. Input code quantity. Use a uh, parallelogram shape. So input code quantity. Okay, we see the first condition. If code equal to a, if code equal to a, true. Computer will execute this first statement. It's a process statement. Amount quantity amount equal to quantity multiple 32 ringgit 10 cent. So you must use a rectangle shape because this one is process statement. Okay, if false. Okay, else if code equal to B. Code equal to B through means computer will do second. Computer will execute the second statement. Amount equal to quantity multiple with 75 ringgit 30 cent. So this one is use rectangle shape because um, process statement. As if code equal to C. To check code equal to C. True. 
computer will execute third statement. Okay, amount equal to quantity multiple with 24 ringgit 60 cent. Else, print invalid code. Okay, if the code um, other than A, B, C, simple E, so when um, enter E, then check the first condition, false, computer will check the second condition, false, third condition also false. So computer will print out invalid code. So else invalid code. So this one is output statement. This one is output statement. So you must draw parallelogram shape. And if because I uh, want to terminate the submission, so end of the if block. Print amount. Okay, this one I want to explain B. If the condition true, computer execute this uh, process statement. Okay, then you see this arrow will be direct to the print amount. Okay, so the value for amount will be this. If second uh, condition true, computer perform uh, this process statement, it will direct to the print amount. Or if the condition C is true, do the uh, computer will do the process and print the amount okay then it's will direct to the stop must remember okay condition will be checked one by one but when the condition is true remember when the condition is true perform the action computer will execute this uh, process statement and stop checking the rest 